Hello my dear Aries. This is a reading for the 22nd through the 23rd. And this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Um, as I am getting ready to shuffle a deck, I notice that there is the Six of Pentacles under the bottom as an overall energy for you guys. This is Taurus energy. Um, I'm feeling like you guys are all about your business. I feel like you, you know who you are. Um, and, and what I mean by that is you know what you will and what you won't accept. What it is that you want in your life and what you don't. What's good for you and what's not. You know, so that is the overall um, energy that I'm getting for you guys. But let's see what what else we have. A <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, another Taurus energy. Um, some of you guys may be dealing with a Taurus, or a Taurus is significant to you guys, um, has had an impact on your life. Or either this is just your energy of not trying to rush anything, taking your time, making plans, just trying to be sure of your moves here. Okay. <clears throat> and then the Nine of Pentacles. I'm feeling like um, this is all about your stability. This is all about um, acquiring those things that you feel like are necessary to to advance you okay I feel like you guys are quite confident and I feel like right now you are definitely okay being um, single um, I think that you know you are open to a relationship but you're not so open or or you're not wanting a relationship so badly that you will accept anything or fall for anything um, that is definitely not the case here okay maybe a Virgo uh, in individual that is significant to you guys as well okay I'm feeling like there's somebody in your energy that is taking their time about coming back but really thinking and contemplating on it okay and then we have this moon energy here hmm I feel like there's something that you guys are trying to figure out by way of your emotions um, there, there's something that's still kind of unclear to you but I don't take this as a hindrance I think sometimes you kind of um, have this what do you call it uh, you reminisce about something or someone okay I feel like a lot of you guys are mothers um, I feel like you're very very caring and um, you do things from the heart and it's not easy for you to let go of somebody when you care about them. So I think there there's something that's that's not really weighing on you, but um, you think about it not now and then, okay? And maybe it's this uh, relationship that you guys once had. It's like you kind of miss being with someone. You kind of miss sharing, um, you know, the I love yous, the hugs, the kisses, the vacations, um, just the camaraderie of being with someone. Okay. Hold on one second for me, guys. I'm getting the sense that um, that you guys are ready for a relationship and before it was you were kind of taking your time and I, and I still see you kind of planning and kind of mapping your steps not want to jump into anything but I'm feeling more of um, you're ready. It feels like you guys are ready. Let's see. Please show me more about this Knight of Pentacles energy. We have the Two of Swords. This is somebody. Taurus Libra energy. Um, that... <laughs> has really not made a firm decision 
to come towards you guys. Um, they want to. They can see it happening. <coughs> excuse me, but I don't get that this person is. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I don't get that this person is one that does things haphazardly. They really are like a turtle. Okay. Um. Yeah. But I'm getting, you know, you guys are not even paying attention to this person. And I'm thinking that they are somebody that it, they're not in a distant memory of yours. But you're no longer thinking about them as an option, I don't feel. Okay. Please show me more about this Nine of Pentacles energy. That one wanted to come out. And I just threw that one out. Look at that. The lovers. The lovers is there. Hmm. Is this single life something that I want to continue? Because I'm kind of feeling like maybe I want to be in a relationship. Somebody else is thinking maybe I made the wrong decision when it comes to my Aries. And they feel like you guys have it freaking going on. And they're concerned. They're worried that they will never have another chance with you. They messed up. This person feels like they really messed up. This is Gemini energy here. This person has very deep feelings for you guys. And they don't know what to do about a, a basically effed up decision that they made. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Please show me more about this moon energy. Then we have the three of pentacles. You know, I saw the six of pentacles as your overall energy. I'm feeling like there's somebody that is really wanting to compromise, um, work with you guys, work things out with you, it's daydreaming about being with you guys again, wanting to do whatever it takes now. But the thing is, I don't think you know this with this moon energy. I don't feel like this person has divulged this information to you ever about just how much they feel for you. I'm just not getting that. They should be more about the Ten of Cups energy. Queen of Swords. Hmm. Now, this is a thing. Like I said, I don't feel like you guys are considering this person at this point. I feel like this Queen of Swords energy is yours. You have your back turned to this person who wants to work things out with you. Yes, you want the Ten of Cups, but I don't think you're considering this person for your Ten of Cups, to be honest with you. Because I'm getting that, you know, this person brought a lot of lies and deceit with them. They hurt you. But you definitely know what it is that you want now, and you will not, um, you will not take anything less than that. Okay. So Gemini strong here, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Piscean energy, Capricorn energy is here as well. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.